Hello. Too far. Ah, oh, that's much better. I was cruising through the papers today, and you know, whenever you read the papers, you have to go through the stupid little your letters bit, really, because it's funny as hell to see how sad people are. Now, granted, as I said, people are usually fairly sad who write into these things. But this one kind of took the cake, if you will. Madam, I am writing, no, I write following your article last week concerning bus drivers and their inability to allow people to take their seat before the bus pulls away. Oh, let's write into the newspaper about that one. In fact, not only did someone take the time to write about it, someone took the time to write an article about it in the first place. How long does it take you people to sit down? Right? This has been going on for years, and you're only writing about it now? Surely if that's concerned, you should have written about it a long time ago. Maybe you're just bored. I suggest getting back to work. This has been going on for years, and one day an elderly person will seriously hurt themselves because an inconsiderate bus driver has not allowed them to sit down. Those bastards. Bus companies say things like, all our drivers are trained to blah, blah, blah. I should hope your bus drivers have quite a lot more training than blah blah blah. Ooh, there, I was just a bus driver twice in the last 30 seconds. Doesn't seem that hard to me. Blah blah blah. Oh, a third time. I think you're over exaggerating a little bit. You could have at least said be polite, etc. No, even your writing's lazy. I suggest you go home and redo this whole thing. Sadly, the reality it is that most bus drivers uh, I've encountered are rude and always pull away before I sit down. Sit down quicker then, especially if you're not the last one on the bus. There's four people behind you that have all found their seat and, oh, what, you're still sitting down? I'm sorry, do you have to clean the seat beforehand? Crack out your mini vac? Or... This isn't a particular problem for me. Don't write in about it then. If it's not a problem for you, let someone who it is a problem for write in about it. You're just being pedantic and awkward and really wasting your own time. But I see other people struggle to get to their seat on time. And the bus driver is oblivious to it. I know drivers have a schedule to keep, but it's not like anyone expects them to be right on time anyway. I'm sorry, it's that kind of attitude that leaves us waiting in the rain for ten minutes. Let's thank God they are not letting people sit down, because if you had the buses, it'd be like, oh, is anyone here yet? Let's wait another five minutes to see if anyone else turns up. No. Okay, yes, they have a schedule to keep. Oh, and I'm sorry, if you're four seconds that you're wasting sitting down is putting the whole thing off schedule, which apparently you don't mind anyway, so there's no point in bitching about it. And when they are late, passengers never get an explanation. Is there really a need for one? It's called traffic. It's everywhere. You look out the window, there's traffic. You look down the road, there's traffic. You sit in your big car, that does like wastes half the space on the road and oh you look there's traffic now tony jones by email which suggests that he didn't write it which meant he's obviously at work and should have had everything else other than writing this thing to do i suggest next time you waste your time writing in a pointless letter where all you really seem to do is say that i want an extra couple of seconds to sit down I suggest you sit down faster, or get there a little earlier, make sure you're the first one in queue, and then you'll have the extra second you need. In closing, 